everyone, my name is Lillian and welcome to my channel Alpha Genesis. So right on the heels of my very long video about my PhD interview experience, I'm here to give you three tips about how to nail your graduate school interview. So for some background, I'm a PhD student at Harvard University studying molecular and cellular biology. These tips don't just come from my personal experience interviews, but they also come from looking at who did and didn't get into PhD programs after their interviews and trying to figure out what was it that made the difference for people getting in or not getting in. So given that my other video was super long, I'm just gonna get right into it. Number one is know your research. Yeah, I know people have been telling you this, you're, you're applying to PhD programs and you can probably recite your research just like on a basic level, but you have to know more than that. So you have to really think about who you're gonna be talking to, right? You're not gonna be talking, probably not gonna be talking to people who know every little bit about your research, right? You're gonna be talking to people who come from different fields, different perspectives maybe, and you're gonna want to describe your research to them. You're gonna wanna have an intelligent conversation with them about your research. But given that they have a different perspective, you're gonna get some questions that you're used to getting, but you may get questions that you're not used to getting about your research. And this is about the minutia. You just, you don't know who you're gonna end up interviewing with, right? So there are some people who have pioneered entire techniques that you may be using or discovered certain things that overlap very well with your research. So in addition to asking you the small things about your research, just like, tell me about it, what did you discover, etc., they might ask you really small things just out of curiosity, but also to see if you did know what you were doing. That means, for example, knowing a lot about the techniques that you're using, especially if they're novel techniques that, you know, Maybe the person you're interviewing with pioneered that technique. You should definitely know it. You should know not only the questions you answered and the hypotheses you generated, but also what are your future plans? Where's the lab going in general? And if you could change something about how the project went, what would you change? It's not just about knowing the background and the overall picture, but understanding exactly what it is you did and why you did things a certain way. These interviews are just meant to confirm what they already thought about you and your application, that this person knows what they're talking about and came up with interesting questions, and they just wanna confirm that you're that way in real life, that you can hold a conversation about your research and about the minutia of your research. They don't just want someone who can do techniques really well, but they want someone who can think critically through different situations to solve problems and answer questions and then develop new questions. So given that you may be thinking that the interview is very focused on your research and your work and a lot of it will be, that leads me to number two, which is have a real discussion. So your interviewer is probably not going to be that type of person that's just asking you questions for the sake of seeing if you're good enough to get in and then just that, you know, they that would be a waste of their time. What they want is to have a real discussion. They want to know who is in the program. Is this student even a good fit for my lab? And if they're not interested in the work that I do, what can I learn from them? People don't want to just waste their time, right? They want to get something out of every interaction that they get. They want to have meaningful interactions. So don't just sit there and wait for them to ask you questions. Once you get through the initial parts where they get to know you, ask them questions about themselves or about their work. If you see that you have a common interest, try and bring the conversation to things they like as well. So you can have a meaningful and fruitful conversation where you both get to learn from each other. In the end, being at graduate school is not just about getting work done, but it's about fostering an intellectual community where people can learn new things from each other and develop new ideas with the help of different perspectives. That's not gonna happen if you aren't interested in what the other person has to say. Which leads me to my third point, and I think this is one of the most important points. Three, don't brag. I know this is kind of weird because, you know, all this time people will be telling you, don't be afraid to talk about yourself, brag about yourself, it's totally fine. They say that for your personal statement, for your application, and for your interviews. And it's true, you shouldn't be afraid to talk about yourself. But there's a fine line between talking about yourself and your accomplishments, especially when prompted, and having that be the entire discussion. If you got an interview, you're qualified to be there. Now they're just trying to see what kind of person are you? Can you contribute to this intellectual community? And if you're spending all of your time just bragging about your accomplishments, that's not necessarily gonna help other people. 
that's not gonna foster an intellectual community. You know, per people may end up thinking you're arrogant or you may make your peers feel bad because they're not as accomplished as you are. You don't wanna be in a place where you alienate people, especially not your interviewers. Of course, they wanna talk about you, get to know you, but if while you're having your discussion and hearing about their work, you always pivot it back to you and this awesome paper you published or the things you're doing, faculty members just gonna be like, okay, yeah. Can I talk about something now? You don't want to put people in that position because then they feel like they can't have an actual conversation with you. And this can be a hard line to maintain, right? It requires having an idea of how things come off to people and how much talking about how much talking about yourself is enough and how much talking about yourself is too much. It is really hard to navigate. And I'm guilty of bringing conversations back to me all the time, you know? It's just, it's how you make connections with people. So the way I do this for interviews is I keep in mind the following. Focus on the work and on the topic. Instead of talking about my accomplishments and the things I did, unless they prompted me for that, I talk about how cool the work is. And if you focus on that work, it's much easier to have a two-way conversation about their work as well and how maybe the works intersect, listening to their questions, and then asking questions from your perspective. For example, saying, you know, I worked on this dimension of this problem. How does that actually translate to your work? You know, have you ever thought about looking at this perspective? Things like that. The other thing I do is to make sure that we're speaking equally, right? So if I spend two minutes talking about something I did, I ask them a question that allows them to speak just as long as I did or more. People like talking about themselves and people like talking about their work. So if you get them talking, they'll feel good throughout the conversation. So as you can tell, these three tips are all related to each other, right? It really does center around number two, which is having a real discussion. You can't have a real discussion with someone if you don't know your own stuff but you also can't have a discussion with someone if you don't care about what they do and are open to hearing new thoughts. Of course, when they ask you questions that are more interview style questions, answer those. You know, you don't wanna just pivot everything back to the other person because that will come off as defensive. But once you've kind of gotten through those initial questions, like why do you wanna be here, etc., just have a conversation. Just doing that will help your case out immensely. I hope this video was short, straight, and to the point, as my other video was not. But if you are interested in hearing more details about my interview experience, I will link that video right here. Meanwhile, if you found this advice helpful, please like the video and subscribe because I'll be releasing a lot of videos related to PhD admissions in the coming weeks. Now, good luck on your interviews, everyone, and I'm looking forward to hearing about them soon.